Fun fact about my production workflow is that the, my sample libraries are actually quite small. I basically use two folders, which is samples and sound design. Samples is just the stuff that I found on the internet and decided to keep uh, over the years. And as you can see, it is uh, just about 20 gigabytes, which is not a lot in today's standards. And then there is the sound design folder, which just contains all the samples that I made myself or at least the ones that I have selected for um, eternity, for being eternally there. And yeah, that's that's a bit more gigabytes because it also contains some stuff that is a bit longer because I have not sliced it to small samples yet or won't ever probably. But yeah, it's still not going over 100 gigabytes or anything like that. And I'm just saying that because a lot of people use huge contact libraries like nonstop and I mean, uh, it makes sense to do that if if you are more of a cinematic producer, if you make music for films or soundtracks, um, is that even a difference? I don't know. You know, or, or game music, which is also very orchestral nowadays, so you want to have all these huge libraries. But sometimes, like, small beat makers also think they need to have huge libraries to sound good and if you like my music then you at least you now know that it is not impossible to make a good sound without huge libraries uh, of course it c comes with its own um, downsides as well like my sounds are always very synthetic but you know I have my ways to humanize the sound like with timing humanizer pitch vibrato and just in general velocity like there are a lot of ways to make things sound natural even though you stay in the synthetic realms and also by using physical modeling synthesizers which don't always sound accurately like the real thing but at least they let me have not so many samples on my computer with my new build my new computer that I'm currently building right now I have more space than on this thing um, of course I mean it is an upgrade, of course, but still, I won't just um, crap my computer full with lots of samples just because I can. At least, I, I think so. Let's see what the future holds. But I do like my approach to just keep the sizes low, to have um, a little bit more focus on quality than quantity.